Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to break it. Oh, God. Yeah. So that's it, it's broken, it's come in. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? It just seems like he's just slipping away at everything. Looking at that made me realise it's such a drastic thing that is going to happen. The patient is just getting prepared for surgery now. So I've injected local anaesthetic into the nose. It reduces the amount of bruising and bleeding in the nose. I also use uh, some uh, medical cocaine. And so there's a cocaine solution that's in, uh, that I use into the nose. And cocaine is a, a very good painkiller and also a vasoconstrictor, so it, again, it helps to shrink down those blood vessels during surgery. So we're going to just to straighten that out a little bit, tip the bump down, make the nose tip a little bit cuter, give her a gentle slope, and then bring the bones in. So let's meet our surgery seekers. Danon, what brings you here today? Why are you thinking about rhinoplasty? I want to come here to get more of an insight on a nose job. There's been a few comments when I was younger. It made me look at my nose more in mirrors. It made me look at my nose more in photos. So just little things like that, really, I was starting to do, and it's just increased. I feel like in the gay community, you either fit in or you don't, because everyone wants to fit in at the end of the day. Has that desire to fit in? I mean, that... I will, who doesn't want to look perfect? At the moment, like, my face is, like, my biggest thing. Like, I can cover everything with clothes. So this is, like, the most, like, manliest thing on my face. I want to be a girl, so I'm trying... I'm going to start transitioning to be a girl. And, like, my nose is, like, just the opposite of that. I'm actually on the fence, because I am tiny. I'm five foot nothing, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> literally so skinny, and I feel like it's the biggest part of my face as well. And I've got my dad's nose, those Indian jeans. <laughs> My main problem with my nose is the fact that it's crooked and it also the side profile is rather large and unshapely. I just want to be me with a slightly cuter nose. <laughs> this is what's called an open rhinoplasty and I do a little W incision. So the idea is I'm going to do is just peel away the skin off the framework of the nose. Now I'm just going to um, oh God. literally just put this up here and this is just taking oh. the skin off these cartilages here. So I'm just really nicely, just gently teasing that skin. And now I'm just going to lift the skin off this. Just slide the scissors down. There you go. Just pop through. So use a swab just to gently take the skin off the framework of the nose. This is a septum coming into view now. This is the bit that divides your nose into the right and left side. But what we'll do is I'm just going to expose it a little bit and then just centralise it and just see if I can score it and get it to lie straighter. Can you see there's a bit of a deviation there? Can you see it's sloping off to the right? And I'm just going to sweep this off there. So that really just releases that. It's just a thing of beauty, there you go. That's a little pocket there, you see? We've lifted the skin off the septum on that side and then on this side I'm sliding that little instrument just straight up, right up to the roof of the nose there. It's just, just making me a bit emotional. I don't know, I wish I felt happy with the way I am. But sadly, I don't. I don't know if I want to go through this. Yep, it's great. So this is a bony bit of a hump coming off. OK, tap, tap, please. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. That's the cartilaginous bit of the hump there. If you can see that. So that was the cartilage that was forming part of that hump. Sometimes you get it off all in one go, but the bone bits are just here. So already you can see that's, uh, that bumps down there. There's just some irregularity here. So what I'm going to do is just file that down. So this is a little rasp, just to help rasp this down. So it's just like a bone file, a bit of carpentry. Are you OK? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing great. <laughs> if you look at Emma's nose here, it looks a little bit wide. This is called an open roof deformity. So now what we have to do is break the bone here. So I'm going to use a chisel to break the bone here and there. So I'm just literally sliding this little perios, what's called a periosteal elevator, right up to where I want to go with the chisel. You're quite close to the brain there. Is there a, is there a risk? Yeah, there is. There's patients who have, um, um, oh, yeah, unfortunately, there is a, certainly, I, I'm aware of a documented case. The, the chisel has gone through, gone through the cruciform plate and into the brain and caused the CSF uh, a leakage of fluid from around the brain. And that, that can be treated, of course, but if it's not treated, then it can be a fatal complication from rhinoplasty surgery. So it's right up here, that's the end of that, that, that little elevator, is right up here, positioning the chisel where I want the bones to break. Okay, let's go. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. I can't stop there. And that's where the end of the chisel is actually just, just saying hello to the uh, 
base of the skull, so we don't go any further than that. We'll do the same on the other side. Tap, tap, tap. Gently now, tap, tap. Stop. OK, so we're just going to break it. There. Oh, God, that was so loud there for a second. So that's it, it's broken, it's come in. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? <laughs> this is what causes um, quite significant black eyes in some patients. She's got some little nylon stitches here and the nylon stitches will come out in a week. She's going to have a splint on the nose and so Emma will have that splint removed in a couple of weeks' time and then uh, she'll come back and see me in clinic. So I only took painkillers for the first four days. I had very minimal bruising, a little bit of concealer just covered it up and I'm absolutely thrilled with the result. I'm just ramming like metal tools in her face. Seeing it, I'm not going to be seeing that when it's actually being done. She's going to be in and out and then I have to deal with the recovery and just getting better after that. When I see myself there, the first thing I'm looking at is Oh, God, I can still see my nose, no matter how much contour I've done on my face. I'm just a bit upset because all of us are here and we're thinking about going through this to feel better about ourselves. Because everyone here, like, who wants it done, I think they're beautiful.